morning, my dear brothers and sisters. We are gathered here in the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We will be celebrating the Mass in memorial of Saints Cornelius, Pope, and Saint Cyprian, Bishop. They are martyrs. We begin our celebration. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gave Saints Cornelius and Cyprian to your people as diligent shepherds and valiant martyrs, grant that through their intercession we may be strengthened in faith and constancy and spend ourselves without reserve for the unity of the church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, let no one have contempt for your youth, but set an example for those who believe in a speech, conduct, love, faith, and purity. Until I revive, until I re arrive, attend to the reading, exhortation, and teaching. Do not neglect the gift you have, which was con confirmed on you through the prophetic word with in possession of hands by the presbyterate. Be diligent in these matters. Be absorbed in them so that your progress may be evident to everyone. Attend to yourself and to your teaching. Persevere in both tasks for by doing so will save both yourself and those who listen to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How great are the works of the Lord. How great are the works of the Lord. The works of His hands are faithful and, and just. Sure are all His precepts, real, reliable forever and ever, wrath and truth and equity. How great are the works of the Lord. He has sent deliverance to his people. He has ratified his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. How great are the works of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Prudent are all who live by it. His praise endures forever. How great are the works of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. A certain Pharisee invited Jesus to, di to dine with him, and he entered the Pharisee's house and reclined at table. Now there was a sinful woman in the city who learned that he was at table in the house of the Pharisee. Bringing an alabaster flask of ointment, she stood behind him at his feet, weeping, and began to bathe his feet with tears. Then she wiped them with her hair, kissed them, 
and anointed them with the ointment. When the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he said to himself, if, if this man were a prophet, he would know who and what sort of woman this is who is touching him, that she is a sinner. Jesus said to him in reply, Simon, I have something to say to you. Tell me, teacher, he said. Two people were in debt to a certain creditor. One owed 500 days wages, and the others owed 50. Since they were unable to repay the debt, he forgave it for both. Which of them will love him more? Simon said in reply, the one I suppose whose larger debt was forgiven. He said to him, you have judged rightly. Then he turned to the woman and said to him, Do you see this woman? When I entered your house, you did not give me water for my feet, but she has bathed them with her tears and wiped them with her hair. She did not give me a kiss, but she has not ceased kissing my feet since the time I entered. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she anointed my feet with ointment. So I tell you, her many sins have been forgiven. Hence, she has shown great love. But the one to whom little is forgiven loves little. He said to her, Your sins are forgiven. The others at table said to themselves, Who is this who even forgives sins? But he said to the woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. An encounter with Jesus is always a learning experience. No wonder why many address him to be a teacher. And those who gathered around him are supposedly do not just learn or are not just educated with regards to faith by the words that our Lord Jesus Christ saying. But in every aspect in the presence of Jesus, it's actually a venue for learning, in deepening one's faith. Kaya nga siguro, ito yung bagay na medyo na-miss out ng ating character sa Ebanghelyo sa araw na ito. The Pharisee, that later on is named to be Simon. He missed the opportunity because I think he did not saw Jesus as a teacher. Bakit? In my reflection, hindi niya makita ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo bilang isang teacher because he was somehow proud of his stature as a Pharisee. Ibig sabihin, believe na believe siya sa kanyang sarili. Pagdating sa pananampalataya sa tingin niya, marunong na marunong na siya. And indeed, marunong na marunong din naman siya. But then, he missed out the opportunity in learning, in seeing something more with the presence of Jesus. Hindi niya nakita yun. Kaya nga, no, yung encounter ni Jesus with the woman who was considered to be a sinner, anong ginawa nung, nung Pharisee, ni Simon? He was judging her, pointing out every sin of the woman calling out all the mistakes that she was doing which Simon thinks is not recognized by Jesus ganun kagaling ang tingin niya sa sarili niya kaya tuloy the learning experience that was supposedly to take place in the encounter of Jesus not happen with Simon the Pharisee. It's 
Alam masasabi natin doon, sayang. Sayang talaga. Hindi kapareho ng woman doon sa Ebanghelyo. She was humble enough, very humble to accept the difference between her and our Lord Jesus Christ. And she took that as an opportunity to look at herself to learn more something about her faith. She wanted to grow pagdating sa kanyang pananampalataya. Kaya hindi nagdalo, nagdalawang isip na magpakumbaba. Kaya nga the very gesture of the woman kissing the feet of Christ washing it with her tears, wiping her tears with her hair, was an act of humility. Kaya nga yumuyo ko. Nakayo ko yung babae. Kasi nagpapakumbaba. Kasi kitang-kita niya yung difference niya sa kanyang Panginoong Heso Cristo, whom she considered to be the best teacher Kaya ang laki ng natanggap niyang lesson, ang laki ng natanggap niyang biyaya, elevated from her sinfulness by the mercy of Christ. The very words were given to her. Woman, your sins are forgiven. Your sins are forgiven. Kita niyo yung difference? nung Pharisee tsaka woman. Yung Pharisee na mayabang, ang tinitignan niya, yung pagkakamali ng babae. Yung pagkakamali ng ibang tao. The woman who was humble, ang tinitignan niya, hindi yung ibang tao. Yung kanyang sarili, compared sa ating Panginoong Yeso Christ. At anong nangyayari? She saw her sinfulness in the truth of Christ. And in acceptance of that sinfulness, she was humble enough to show her remorse, her asking for forgiveness. And what did she receive? The grace of mercy of Christ. A very great lesson that she could learn. Kaya para sa ating lahat, Gospel today is a very good lesson. Lalong-lalo sa panahon ngayon. Sa panahon natin ngayon with the social media and everything, ang dali-daling humusga ng ibang tao. Ang dali-daling tingnan ang pagkakamali ng ibang tao para tayo yung pariseyo na si Simon. May makita lang tayong hindi maganda ang galing-galing galing -galing nating mag-type. Hmm. Hindi tama yung sinasabi mo. Pangit ka. Mataba ka. Nagkagaling ko lang po sa eskwelahan namin at ang, itong isang staff namin, meron siya tinanong, sabi niya, gano'n po ba ka, ka, kalaki nung, nung kopon banda kailangan ninyo? Ang sagot ba naman sa kanya eh, yung pong kasing laki ninyo, makajudge eh no, ang galing. Many of us fall always to that trap. And what does this merit us? Nothing. Nothing. Rather, follow the way of the woman in our gospel. That as she experienced the presence of Christ in her life, wala siyang ibang tinitignan kundi yung kanyang sarili, yung kanyang sinfulness. Always an opportunity for introspection. Ang laging tanong niya sa sarili niya, sino ba ako sa harap ng Diyos? Paano ba ako maging mas malapit sa personalidad sa presensya ng Diyos? Ano bang kailangan kong gawin 
Ano bang kailangan kong alisin sa buhay ko para maging mas malaki sa Diyos? Yun ang laging tanong niya. Hindi yung lagi ang ibang tinitingnan niya. Ah, ikaw makasalanan ka, hindi ka malayo ka sa Diyos. Ah, ikaw, isa pa. Marami tayong nahubulog sa ganong klaseng bitan. That is why the woman in our gospel today is an inspiration for all of us. Seeing always the presence of Christ, an opportunity, Ali, for learning, deepening our faith. Kaya, as we encounter Christ in this Mass, lalong-lalo na sa Eucharistia, as we accept Him, even spiritually, sa mga nanonood sa live stream, yun yung magandang itanong natin sa ating mga salita. Sino ba ako sa harap ng aking Panginoong Yesus Christ? Ano ba yung mga pagpukulang ko na kailangan kong punuan? Ano ba yung mga kailangan alisin ko sa buhay ko? At sa gayon, maging mas malapit ako sa aking Panginoong Yesus Sa gayon, meron tayong matututunan sa ating Panginoong Yesa Christo sa pagpapalat ng ating pananampalataya sa Kanya. Placing our confidence in God the Father who shows loving mercy in His treatment of sinners, we make our prayer. In every petition, let our answer be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that church leaders may carry on the work of Jesus in forgiving sins and binding up hearts that are broken. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the forgiving spirit may lead people in conflict to a peaceful negotiation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be gentle and charitable in our opinion of others and we May we not condemn or reject others on account of their sins and shortcomings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are sick and those who care for them may experience the healing presence of the Lord through a caring Christian community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have passed from this life may be forgiven by Jesus, our Redeemer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now in the silence of our hearts, we offer our personal and our particular intention. And we also pray for the intentions of this man. Most merciful Father, our prayers come before you in the name of your Son, who loved us and sacrificed himself for our sake. He who is the forgiving Savior, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Pray, my dear friends, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, 
for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the offerings of your people in honor of the passion of your holy martyrs, Saints Cornelius and Cyprian, and may the gifts that gave them courage under persecution make us too steadfast in all trials. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the hosts of angels cry out, and without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Dominic and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we all dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit we offer each other the sign of peace Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Son of Mary, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter the my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacraments 
I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Through these mysteries which we have received, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that by the example of the martyrs, Saints Cornelius and Cyprian, we may be strengthened with the fortitude of your Spirit to bear witness to the truth of the Gospel. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Announcement. Brothers and sisters, good morning. The Dominican community of the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag is pleased to inform you that the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 3, 2021, first Sunday of October. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from September 27, 24 to October 2, 2021. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. on September 26, Sunday. We invite you to participate in this Novena Masses and be one with us in expressing our devotion to Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. If you wish to sponsor one or several of the Novena Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation and you will be given an acknowledgement receipt or you may visit our website www.manawagminorbasilica.org at online pamisa where you will find available online and other options for donation. All names of donors and sponsors for Novena Masses will, will appear in the Electronic Sovereigner Program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We all go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health, through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that, in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.